Welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed my first video where we covered the string in Python. Uh, maybe not that surprisingly this second video will be about numbers. Uh, first of all, Python is actually a really good calculator. So if you do 5 times 5, you will get 25. If you do 100 minus 45, you will get 55. If you do 3 plus 3, you will get 6. If you do 3 plus 5.6, you will get 8.6. And the decimal in Python numbers is the period sign, not the normal decimal sign. That's good to know. In Python, we have three different numerical types. We have integers or ints. We have floating numbers, floats, and we also have complex numbers. Complex numbers are not used much in Python programming. And as the names kind of give away, it's a bit much to include in a beginner's tutorial. But just, just know it's a thing. You might encounter it at some point. First thing we will start with is the integers, which is uh, basically positive or negative whole numbers with no decimal points. Integers in Python 3 are of unlimited size. In Python 2, we had two types of integers. We had int and the long integers. So if you had the extremely long number, that would be no longer a normal int. It will be a long. Just to show you some examples, zero integer, and 7 integer minus 100 is also an integer and we can prove this by checking the type so minus 100 plus int and so on so basically if there is not a decimal point there if it's not 8.6 but it is 8 blank it is an integer if you want to convert something to an integer you have to use the int function for example if you got an input from two people and you want to add them together so let's say that let's assign this to a variable here uh, we didn't talk that much about variables i will just mention it this is basically just a good place to hold something for example a number or a string so every time i type a now uh, further down this code a they will, python will know that a means what i'm putting in here so a is 23 and since it's an input it will be like this and b equals 3 just an easy math there now if we do that's a big b that wasn't basically the point but it will work anyway if we do a plus b now then we get 2 3 3 3 and 23 plus 3 is not 233 i hope you know that so what we will have to do is that we will have to do int a plus int and because of my big fingers, it's a big B there. That's 26. 23 plus 3 is 26. And what did we do now? As I said, we made these strings. These are strings. You can see that by the quotation marks around them. We made them into integers that will be whole numbers without decimal points. So 23 plus 3 is not 233. It is 26. And as we remember from the last video, what they did here first now it just combined these two strings with each other let's talk a bit more about floats or floating numbers floats are if you're going to put it just simply speaking a number that contains a decimal point and for example we have 3.0 remember the decimal point is period sign we have 3.0, we have 5.67, we have 23.4, and we can check that also with type, let's say 23.4. That's in the float class. Do you some more space to go on here. As we can see, that's the float class. And if you want to convert something from uh, a string, we will take the same example here. So we will do a equals 23. Point 0.3 and this is a string and then b equals small b this time lowercase equals 2.1 i can see i already did a mistake there so i'll have to do that again i do as i say and not as i do 
Here you can see I used the normal decimal sign instead of period. So A is now, we will just do that one more time, 23.3. And B equals 2.1. And then we will do, let's see here, float A, and we will add it with float B, and we get the answer 25.4 in Python. And please do not ask me why. Sometimes it's actually rare, quite rarely this mistake or this error here happens that they add a bunch of zeros and then a two is just something in Python. If you know, I read somewhere about about the reason for this. I do not remember, nor do I care that much. If you know, maybe comment it in the comment section down below. It's actually quite random that we got this mistake here now. Um, and then again, if we just do A plus B, then we will get just the strings bound together. So remember, if you are dealing with numbers, you will have to either have floats or integers. Uh, as with the strings, there is of course, I could make PowerPoint presentation for three hours about numbers. These are just the really basic uh, knowledge. If you want to know more, then check out the documentation. Uh, I think actually I will quit the video here. I got everything I wanted covered. Um, this should at least be enough to make you feel a bit more safe about it so that you can uh, check out the documentation and go a bit deeper into it. But this is basically what you will need now in the beginning. If you have any questions, as always, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you ASAP. If you appreciate what I'm trying to teach you, then give me a thumbs up. And also, maybe if you are feeling in the nice corner today, you can subscribe to my channel.